Today I have the pleasure of speaking with David Regan from Sona Nanotech. How are you today? I'm well, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. I'll tell you, David, you certainly attract people. We get so many tweets. What's happening with David? What's happening with Sona? So let's start there. What is happening with Sona Nanotech? Well, Sona Nanotech is a really interesting life sciences company, and we don't have a lot of those small ones in Canada. Uh, so we do get a lot of attention. Uh, and I'll tell you what attracted me first to, to Sona, to give it as a bit of a background. Uh, Sona has proprietary gold nanorod technology that came out of a university lab. And this technology is the only type uh, in the world of, uh, uh, that accomplishes uh, a number of critical factors. So gold nanorods, did I hear you correct? That's right. Okay, you just put out a news release, Sona provides corporate update. With these gold nanorods, which are very unique and competitive, or so I'm reading, um, what kind of update do you have for us as shareholders? Sure. Well, I think it's important to step back a little bit and, and baseline somewhat, uh, uh, you know, gold nanorods, what they are. Uh, nanotechnology, fascinating field, obviously, but really what it's all about is the manipulation of materials at the nanoscale, which is the near atomic scale. And it's important to understand that when you take metals, for instance, gold, down to that scale, its properties change in important ways. And you can manipulate those properties and those materials in different ways at a very, very, as I say, almost atomic scale. There are lots of different types of nanoparticles. There are nanospheres, there are nanoshells, uh, there are nanostars, there are nanorods. Those aren't new. We are not the only purveyors of those. However, we specialize in gold nanorods, which offer some really um, interesting, effective uh, properties in a number of realms that I can tell you about now, if you like. So I think what you're telling me right now is the company is currently in a research stage. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. And the, these gold nanorods are used in two general areas right now. Researchers are working with them around the world. Uh, because they have such promising properties associated with them. Um, we believe our particular technology can help to unlock some very powerful and very profitable applications uh, of the technology. So can you give us an example of a current research program that you're working on or an application that you're focused on? Sure, and you know what? I'm going to I'm going to start with um, with commercial applications right now. And nanoparticles have been used. Uh, the first advent was uh, was probably pregnancy tests and lateral flow and the simple lateral flow tests. And that's an area in which we've got multiple different uh, lateral flow tests. Those are like the COVID tests we've all seen uh, that are being used. So that's one place in which they're actually commercialized now. However. The much, much larger and more interesting and more challenging area is using those nanoparticles in the body for advanced medical applications, such as targeted drug delivery, tumor ablation, cell imaging, et cetera. Well, can I lean on you for you to tell me what your favorite application is this week? Because I do know enough about nanotech to know that, you know, uh, the applications are endless. So is there an application in particular that you as a CEO are most appreciative of or enjoying right now presently? Well, I'll tell you what, there are, as I say, multiple applications that are being researched around the world. We are agnostic as to the particular applications our gold nanorods, what we're trying to research right now is to understand where they best play across all the applications that are being researched in labs around the world. Uh, there's a research study that's being undertaken on our behalf right now at the University of Toronto in the Institute of Bio-Nanotechnology to validate the biocompatibility of our particular nanoparticles. Now, why is biocompatibility a, a concern? Because in order to manufacture these nanoparticles, certain toxins are typically used. Our technology is unique in that no toxins are used in the creation of our gold nanorods. What so I think if I hear you correct, what you're trying to say is that your nanorods really do separate 
you from the rest of the pack. And so your fascination and your, your passion topic in this particular application are, are on the nano rods themselves and their compatibility, not the necessarily their direct applications. It's a great point. Yes, there are, as I say, different types of nanoparticles and different nanoparticles can be used for different applications uh, to different levels of effectiveness. So researchers around the world are trying to understand which nanoparticles to use for which applications. We're helping them by first and foremost, proving out the fact that our gold nanorods will be unique amongst gold nanorods in that they don't have toxins from the get-go, from their creation, therefore much more apt to be appropriate for implantation into the body. Now you seem to, in addition to be attracting an endless group of interested parties in your particular company, um, you're attracting some world-class talent. I mean, in the new year, you had two new directors with impressive backgrounds. Can you talk to us a little bit about your board? Uh, yeah, and thanks for noticing that. We're very proud of, uh, of the quality of directors that have uh, come on board uh, with an industry background. We have um, Mark Levonen, who is a longtime former CEO of uh, Sanofi Pasteur and co-chair of the National uh, Vaccine Task Force. Uh, we have Neil Fraser, who's longtime president of Medtronic Canada, and most recently, Dr. Walter Straps, who is a a PhD researcher and CEO of a CRISPR-9 uh, gene editing research company in, uh, in the Boston area. However, what perhaps is the, the best, um, uh, the best uh, vouching for our technology, because really that's what has attracted not just me, but those directors, uh, not any one given test, but the underlying technology. Uh, is the research being done at the University of Toronto by a world leader, Dr. Warren Chan, um, which is being done not for fees and there's no commercial interest uh, in Dr. Chan's research other than that he understands this stuff. He's the director of the Institute of Bio Nanotechnology at the University of Toronto. He understands these applications better than anyone, and he finds our technology extremely interesting and worthy of research. Well, I'll tell you, we would love to do an interview with him in the future. If you can possi possibly compel him to do one, we would love to do one with you both. Well, let's let him get through the research first, see what the results are, and, uh, and we're going to be very keen to, uh, to tell you all about it, Tracy. And speaking of that, what should shareholders anticipate, say, in the next upcoming quarter? So this research is, uh, is the main thrust of, uh, of our work right now um, on the research side, uh, the work with, uh, with Dr. Chan. And we hope to have um, results back on that study uh, over the course of the summer in this quarter. And that will be foundational in terms of uh, being able to have a incredibly credible third party expert opine on the uh, efficacy and uniqueness of our technology. It's one thing for me to stand here and tell you that this is the best in the world and this is going to be the gold standard, uh, but it's something else to have that. So we're really excited to be able to talk about that when it comes out. Well, David, thank you so much for updating us today and for all of you sending me endless emails on what's happening at Sona Nanotech please go to their website at the following URL and or send David and his team your questions direct. David, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, appreciate it.